Welcome back as Control received a free major update just a few days ago. It includes three outfits, a previously platform exclusive mission, high dynamic range, DLSS 4 and several other improvements. This is the complete update log. Although the game is using the latest version of DLSS subscaler, out of the box the model preset is not set to K. CNN model is being used. So I'll use OptiScaler mod to switch to DLSS subscaler's transformer model. We'll just set model preset to K. We'll also use the mod to enable FSR frame generation and DLSS auto exposure setting. Auto exposure setting can help in reducing the ghosting produced around some objects in the environment. It also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Details about the newly added content are provided here. Graphics improvements, added HDR support. In the older versions of the game, we were required to use a community based HDR pass to get OptiScale FSR frame generation working. This is not required now. Improve the quality of our own in-house TAA solution. This results in less ghosting and better textures. I even highlighted this ghosting issue in my previous control video where I enable OptiScale FSR frame generation. First I'll run the vanilla version of the game without any mods installed. We'll show you the version of TLSS subscaler and its model preset. To highlight these details, I'll be using DLSS debug overlay. We'll enable the overlay using the registry code provided by Emus. Just copy these lines here. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select right click open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close, run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Like this, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable DLSS debug overlay. Right click open. Ok, we're done here. It's the Steam version of the game. In game settings, display mode set to full screen, full HD resolution, base resolution 720p using the quality mode of TLSS upscaler, Async off, film grain and motion blur disabled, quality preset set to high, MSA off, ray tracing preset set to high, that's it. I have enabled VSync and ultra low latency mode from NVIDIA control panel. I have just paused the game, wanted to show you the TLSS debug overlay, render preset used is E. So this is the CNN model of DLSS version 310.2.1 base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution auto exposure setting off resume the game yeah, here FPS is close to 80 hitting the GPU bottleneck I'll be honest image quality is looking slightly soft you can tell this is the CNN model of DLSS I'll just switch to DLA the game supports it officially there it is. Now check out the DLSS debug overlay. Render preset changed to F. It's still not K. Resume the game and FPS drop to around 50. Animation is looking a bit choppy. I'm observing some aliasing around the fine textures. See? During movement. Combat time. The FPS stays close to 50. Okay. Some green textures are constantly flickering in the top left corner. This issue will get fixed when I switch to DLSS transformer model. The wires holding the tube light are exhibiting some aliasing. Now I'll show you how to install OptiScaler mod. We'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler. You can download it from GitHub. This is the version 0 0.7.7 preview 7 2025 Click on the .7z link. Open the mods archive file. Just copy the highlighted files. Three of them. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste the files here. Change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll. It's not mandatory to enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anyway on the desktop, click on display settings, then click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, 
enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable ultra low latency mode and facing settings from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select the DirectX 12 version of control. DirectX 11 version of control is not compatible with FSR frame generation. Scroll down until you find low latency mode setting, set it to ultra. And this is because the game does not support NVIDIA reflex. Scroll down to the end, enable vSync from here. Apply the changes. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync here. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync indicator. This step is optional. Click on display here. Check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. Apply, close. Now make sure after burnout or RTSS is not running in the background. Otherwise, OptiScaler's hotfix will not work properly. I'll just use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. First, I'll run the game with DLSS subscaler set to quality mode. Remaining settings are left as they are. Quality preset high, ray tracing preset high. You can also use NVIDIA app to set the model preset to K, but you won't be able to enable DLSS auto exposure setting. We are in. Show you OptiScaler settings. Just press the insert keyboard key to open the mod menu. From this drop down bar, make sure DLSS is selected. Okay, so I'll just change the model preset to K. Check the setting, render presets override. Click on the drop down bar next to override preset. From here, you just need to select preset K and click on apply changes here. Model preset change to K. Now check this setting, auto exposure. Auto exposure setting on. Click on save INI to save the changes upon game restart. Back to the game. Yeah, now we are getting close to 72 FPS with TLSS CNN model. FPS was close to 80, but image quality is looking much better now. Not observing any ghosting around Jesse's character model. Everything is looking sharp. I'll enable OptiScale FSR frame generation now. From this drop down bar, select Opti FG. Okay, need to click on save INI and restart the game. We are in open OptiScaler mod menu. Your yeah, frame generation settings got unlocked. And just check this setting first FG active. Then check this setting FG hotfix. Set the limit value to 1. Don't need to enable FG extended setting. Check this setting as well FG allow async. Show you the debug view. Click on save INI, close. Displays are working properly for all of the images. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for the DLSS debug overlay as it's not part of the game's interface. So it will flicker with OptiScale FSR frame generation enabled. The color palette is exactly the same for both bottom middle and bottom right images. So smoothing effect should work properly. And disable debug view now. Off. Back to the game. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Wow, the game is running so smoothly. 120 FPS. Games had elements are not flickering. Only the DLSS debug goal is flickering as expected. You can disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Scale everyone here. Other creatures have spawned. FPS mostly stays above 100. I'm just observing the environment. Everything is looking sharp now. Aliasing is not produced around those hanging tube lights. I'll just switch to DLA now. Before that, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit the registry file that we created earlier. Replace number 4 with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Run this registry file. That's it. Display settings, just set render resolution to full HD, DLA, rest of the settings are left as they are, high graphics preset, high ray tracing preset, post processing effects disabled. Back to the game, oh my god everything is looking so sharp, just observe Chessy's character model, textures in the background, 
FPS here is close to 80. This is with frame generation on. So base FPS should be around 45. And DLA is very heavy. We basically disable upscaling. Stunning visuals. You can actually play the game this way as well. Input delay is manageable. Not the ideal experience, but it's manageable. Of course, you can drop the settings entirely up to you. But everything is working very nicely. Not observing any artifacts, just running around. Look at the reflection quality, high ray tracing, graphics preset. Barely any aliasing issues now. Everything is looking so sharp. Bodies floating in the air. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.